Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is part two on uh, editing in Google Photos. So you'll remember from part one to find Google Photos, we went into our Google Apps and got it there. We're in it now. And here is the picture that we edited. We had made a 16 by 9 out of it. So up here on the right-hand uh, uh, nav bar, we already saw the sharing and we already saw the edit. So we, we, we kind of done with that. Uh, the next icon is we can is a zoom icon you can use to zoom in. Uh, I don't really use it that much. The info uh, is interesting because you can add a description of uh, what you want there. So I can call this one, if it'll take it. Yeah, here we go. American Bittern. Uh, this already shows an item in the first video I did. Uh, I shared it twice. I, I picked, I got a link to share it twice. So this will tell me that it's been shared already twice before. Here you see an edit for the date. Now the date establishes where it ends up in Google Photos because it, it chronologically puts everything in chronological order. So if you want to change where this uh, where you where this photo will end up in your photos in general, you can you can play with the dates here. Um, I use that when I'm in using albums. I'll move them around, changing the date. At least that's what I've done with myself. This um, tells you what the image name is, uh, the original image name, and this tells me that it came off an iPhone 5, not the most ideal pic, um, camera in the world. But anyway, so uh, that's the information. This is the trash. So remember, if you go to trash, it'll remove it from your Google Photos library, all your sync devices, all your albums, and all your Google Drive. So you don't want to really do that unless you intend to really get, lose it. Now over here, it's interesting. Here you can create a slideshow. It'll actually do a slideshow of your, of your photos in Google Photo. Uh, you can download. Now this will download the edited picture. If I click download, uh, I'd rename it, but you can see the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Here, if I download the original, this is the very original one we started with, it's the normal 4 by 3, and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, uncropped. So that's, you know, that's, that's an interesting thing. You can rotate pictures here. You can add this photo to an album. I can add it to a shared album. We'll get into albums later. So that is what you can do with the full navbar menu in Google Photos. And I thought I would just add this as part two. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Plan, Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, talk soon.